Okay, well, I've been laughing at this pretty good today. Stellar Blade gets censored. You know, I talked about this from, my, from in my car today, and I get home, and lo and behold, they get censored, but not not in the way you would expect. You would think they would be censoring the game for the sexy model or censoring some of the fights because of the blood and gore or the fighting or something else in it. No, no, it gets censored because some unintentional graffiti made it through playtesting that uh, is talking about what we call the hard R. Okay, well, IGN put this up immediately when the embargo got lifted on the game. So we have a few things to show you here. Of course, there's a whole plethora of stuff to see over this situation. So don't forget to sit there and hit that subscribe button today. Sony says Stellar Blade art referencing racist language was unintentional, will be patched out. Art will be removed in Stellar Blade's day one patch. Now, I've seen some people say, maybe if you had a narrative design company that could tell you these things, why would you want that at this point? It's hilarious that this has come down the pipeline. It is something that is absolutely unintentional and it's just so outlandish. You have to wonder if there's a conspiracy behind it. Sony says it will remove Stellar Blade's artwork that appears to reference racist slurs, claiming that the phrase inclusion was unintentional. The art, which appears to combine two visual elements, two visual elements happened to come together at the same time, was discovered during the review process. It can be seen in the screenshot below. So there was review copies of the game that went out there, and a lot of people saw this as they were moving, but they were under NDAs. They couldn't speak about it. So of course the day one patch comes out and they're like, uh, yeah, this is one thing that shouldn't have been in there. Of course it's unintentional, but what they replaced it with makes this whole thing absolutely hilarity. Now, of course, I, I, I got to go back to Grums here because he's got it up there. Shift up replaces hard R with crime. They took out the hard and put in crime, which is absolutely hilarious because of the meltdown this caused for the people reviewing the game, for the game media sites. It, it created this whole controversy. And honestly, this type of controversy just came down to a hilarity. It's an absolute mistake, but people will take it and call it racist is what they're doing. Now, the... The whole situation, it's a screenshot. It's not going to hurt you. It literally is two separate things that happen combined together. And if they have several spots in the game where it happens to repeat this type of graffiti and then you have the R shop open here, they obviously didn't remove the R shop, which I'm guessing is your repair shop or something like that. That's something that's not going to go away very easily. And this was also done by a Korean outlet, so they wouldn't even have a clue what this stands for until you get to the Western culture. That is part of this situation here, and why I think it's even more funnier that they turned around and replaced it with crime, because it's a crime for these things to happen. The, this is something that comes back to uh, the hate speed laws that are clamoring all over social media right now where you have nations sitting there trying to bring down these hate speech laws saying people are getting hurt people are being victimized by this and the only people that are being victimized right now are the journalists because they're the ones that actually are seeing something wrong with this this honestly became a hilarity hilarious it's going to become its own meme at this point and what else are you supposed to say what else are you supposed to say on all of this it's absolute hilarity and ridiculous this is part for the chorus of the ridiculousness that we cover on this channel. Now, the IGN article, of course, in Stellar Blade, the R shop refer references Roxanne, who is one of the game's information brokers, and the hard graffiti, meanwhile, can be found in numerous areas throughout the game. Like I said, that's probably all that it is. It, it's just 
honest hilarity that came out of this. Now, on all purposes, it, it, it's a hilarious meme that came out, but what they replaced it with, with crime across there makes it even hilarious, more funny because the, the journalists have to sit there and they, they clamor that this is being all done intentionally. It's all a conspiracy. And it's like, no, this is just graffiti that came out there. Um, Korean me made game, they don't even understand or care what the western culture are, is at this point other than that they're putting up a game that they've put their soul into and makes it look absolutely amazing these journalists need to calm the f down but you know they won't do that you know they're going to pick apart everything that they want to on this game um because it's too sexy for them and they can't handle it Anyway, I've been your proud Game Phoenix, Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.